Hey guys, so I want to talk today about something that's been on my mind for a while. I want to talk about how I'm no longer vegan. I've tried filming this video around eight times now, and I'm just so scared about what everyone's going to say about my decision to no longer be vegan. So please, before you, you know, express your hatred in the comments, just hear my journey and hear what exactly led to this decision. And just a disclaimer, I'm not against veganism. Veganism worked for me. I think it could work for a lot of people, but nutrition is just very complex and veganism eventually just didn't really work for me. People just have different nutrition journeys. It really did work for me, but in the last two days, I felt a little bit odd. Basically what happened was around two days ago, I noticed that I was feeling 84% instead of 100%, and my inner gut and inner intuitivity feelings told me that this is just normal, it's just human, you don't have to feel 100% all the time, and it's totally just okay. But then I did some soul searching and took a real deep dive and had strong moments of introspection and thought that maybe this had to do with my diet. So after not feeling absolutely perfect for two days, I came to the conclusion that my diet might be the reason why I'm not feeling 100% perfect. Of course, my first thought was that maybe I should start eating animals, but I felt so much dissonance when facing these thoughts because as you guys know, I was vegan for the animals and I'm a huge animal lover. I've said for so long that there was no way I would ever eat animals or their products ever again. So after about 47 seconds of deep introspection and battling the idea of whether or not I should eat animals again, I came to the realization that my health should come before being a good person. After I came to this conclusion, I started to think about all of the anti-vegans in my comment section over the years who have told me that I'm going to deteriorate eventually and that humans need animal products to be healthy, which then caused me to try to think of the most convenient way in which I could obtain an animal product to consume in that exact moment. My heart was racing as I decided to look around my house and look for some kind of animal product. And in those moments, I actually went from feeling 84% to 82%. So it was at that point that I really knew that my health was deteriorating quite fast and I needed to make haste when it came to finding an animal product to consume. My soul was really telling me this information. So what happened was I looked across the room and then I saw my dog. Now I know what you're thinking, oh my God, don't eat your dog, that's so messed up. And I had the same exact thoughts too and I knew like, you know, there's no way I would ever eat my dog. So I took some time to think. I looked deep within my inner intuitivities, intuitions, feelings, feeling, and then I knew what I had to do. Instead of killing and eating my dog, I went ahead and ate his shit. Now what happened after this, I really cannot put it into words. After eating my dog's literal shit, I went from feeling 82% all the way up to 95%. I knew at this point in my feelings, feelings, that pure dog shit was what I was missing in my vegan diet. I went all over the internet trying to find other people with similar testimonies in which they solved their health problems eating dog shit. I was so surprised because I couldn't find anything. So I continued to follow my inner spirit and eat my dog shit for an additional six hours. I even put my dog shit in an air fryer. And I'm not really sure why, but over the course of a couple more hours, I started to feel very terrible and nauseous. Clearly, to my surprise, my dog's shit was not the solution to my health problems. So I continued to look online for more solutions. That thing that anti-vegans have been saying in my comments about how human beings need to eat animal products to survive and be healthy was really starting to just take over all of my thoughts. So I started to think of other animal products that I might be able to eat. I eventually came across Elwood's Organic Dog Meat, which is a humane and local farm which raises puppies to be murdered for human consumption. I figured maybe I was wrong, just maybe I was wrong to think that dog shit would solve my health problems, but what about dog meat? As I said before, guys, I am a huge animal lover. So if I'm gonna go ahead and you know pay for dead dogs, I'm gonna make sure I source these dogs from the most local and humane source out there. Basically like local murder is much more ethical than non-local murder. So I'm gonna make sure I find these dogs from a humane and local dog farm. And guys, please, I know you're thinking like, oh, there's no such thing as humane murder or humane slaughter. Listen, I get it. I thought this way too for the longest time when I was a vegan, but you have to really understand that it is possible to nicely murder someone. I mean, just imagine you getting nicely murdered. Like 
Imagine you're hanging upside down and somebody takes a knife and just nicely slides it across your neck. I mean, come on guys, that's pretty nice. So I quickly ordered 10 pounds of their Labrador steak option. And I was really hoping that my consumption of these dead dogs would be the solution to my health problems. And I'd go from 82% back to 100%. I even got one day shipping because I knew how urgent my health problems were. And the following day I woke up and ended up coughing. So I knew that my health problems were really accelerating in severity. After this one cough, I panicked. I managed to track down the shipping company and they told me that my dead dog would be at my house in three hours. And I couldn't stand for that because during this call, I coughed an additional time. That's two coughs in one day. I knew at this point I had no choice but to meet them halfway. I mean, like, what if I died before eating the dead dogs, which might be the solution to my health problems? On the way to meet them, I sneezed. And at that point, I panicked more than I ever have so far in the story and just started speeding beyond belief. I eventually got pulled over by a cop and he asked me, why are you speeding? And I told him my journey. And while telling him my journey, I actually managed to sneeze again, which only helped my case. And he understood completely. I was frantic and he saw me frantic and he understood, you know, the urgency of the situation that I was in. He felt for me so much that he organized a police escort to get me to the shipping company. I eventually finally got to the shipment company. I grabbed my 10 pounds of Labrador steaks. And at this point, I was just praying that these Labrador steaks would be the cure to my health problems. I mean, God forbid, I feel 84% for two days in a row. Luckily, I received an additional police escort back to my house. When I got home, I began to cook the dead dog. Guys, I took one bite from this dead dog and I felt an immediate amount of energy. It was unbelievable. Mind you, I hadn't eaten for six days prior to this first bite, but that's not really relevant. Anyway, I felt so good. And let me just emphasize this, so good that I had a full-blown erection, fully torqued, which was followed by a 10 foot ejaculation. And guys, let me just tell you, I was in such shock and awe in this moment that I decided to consume the remaining pounds of Labrador steak. And the entire process that I just went over happened an additional 10 times, each time more breathtaking than the last. Finally, I felt 100%. It's been an entire day and I haven't even coughed once. The anti-vegans are right, I need animal products to be healthy. It was a super long journey, but I figured it out. I just want to give a huge shout out to Elwood Organic Dog Meat. I will 100% be ordering from them from here on out, and I strongly recommend them for any of you vegans who think that you might need some animal products. You guys might be wondering why I didn't go with the traditional eggs or fish that usual ex-vegans tend to consume when they feel their health is, you know, going down or whatever because they're vegan. The reason I didn't go with the usual eggs and salmon and fish is because my inner intuitivities, uh, feelings, feeling really was just screaming dog meat to me. I mean, at first it was screaming dog shit, but then eventually, you know, we learned somehow dog shit wasn't my solution. So we went with the dog meat. So guys, now I eat dogs. And just a reminder that these dogs are humanely murdered. Maybe I'll experiment with horse meat or cat meat soon. My inner intuitivities, feelings have been telling me that maybe I should do those things, but I think what I'm gonna do is wait till I sneeze again or cough again, and then I'll go ahead and try to find an organic local horse meat or cat meat farm to use in combination with my dog meat. Anyway, guys, if you made it this far, thank you so much for being willing to listen to my journey. Remember guys, positive vibes only. You only live once, so your health should come at the expense of other animals who also only live once. Makes a lot of sense. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you support my work and want to support me on Patreon and support my non-vegan journey and help me pay for some of this incoming, you know, maybe cat meat or maybe horse meat or, you know, definitely dog meat because, you know, that's my current cure, then please consider supporting me on Patreon. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next journey. Dude, even vegans don't get your weird stupid wannabe sense of irony here. W who is your audience? Nobody gets these dumb jokes. Dude, even vegans don't get your weird stupid